So what was that called? That's called a contour drawing, which basically means it's an outline, like, you know, in a coloring book or something. Now there are three kinds that a lot of people talk about. The first one is just contour, and then continuous contour, and then blind continuous contour. Or you can just do blind contour. I'm going to show you how to create these different kinds of contour drawings using a pair of scissors because there's lots of details. You can see inside these scissors there's all these outside lines that if I were to draw the lines I would be able to show you a scissor. Now I'm really looking at it and I'm going to show you how to do the basic contour drawing which is what it looks like if it were to be in a coloring book. So what I'm doing is I'm carefully looking around the outside of the scissor and how everything is related in size and shape and I'm trying to draw every line that I see so that this drawing that I'm making of the scissor looks three-dimensional. I'm not adding the shading, the shiny part in the middle or the dark part. I'm not adding the blue color on the handle or anything else. I'm just drawing the lines that represent it being three-dimensional and sharp. Then the next one we want to talk about is what's called a continuous contour drawing. This is where you don't pick up your drawing tool, whether you're doing it with Sharpie or pencil or whatever. You're drawing or painting without picking it up. So choose a place to start and don't pick up your pencil. And you can see here I had to trace back over that blade on the scissor to continue drawing my contour. Doing this gets very silly lines, but that are quite unique to look at and fun. The last one is called a blind continuous contour. It's not looking at your paper as well as not picking up your pencil. I like to do this by holding up a paper to block my hand. As you can see, I just have this recycled construction paper and I'm looking at the scissor while I'm drawing but I'm not looking at my paper which right now it's hidden which is what I can see I can't see what I'm drawing and check it out it was quite funny so let me show you what it actually looks like I'm gonna do my best to hold everything down and draw the scissor without looking at it when I do this I create very unique lines that have different forms and structures and it has a very artistic flair to it. There are many artists out there today and in history who use this technique for their art. But if it doesn't interest you to be your main art form, it is just a good way to build your ability to see and then draw what you see. Whether you're doing the blind or the regular, what you're doing is you're really intently looking at your object and drawing it. Whether it's a person, a character, or a thing in front of you, you're really paying attention to the details and drawing what you see. If you like it as an artwork, you can add colors to it or other designs or decorations to it, which is a really fun and beautiful way to create a unique work of art. So today, I want everybody to at least try one contour type. It can be the basic contour, which is like a coloring book. It can be into continuous that you still look at, or you can try the blind contour with a scrap piece of paper, drawing a friend, uh, something in the room, or you could get out a book and draw an image from that book, like a character that you know. After you've done this one trial, then you can go do studios. But today I want you to try out contour drawing. And I hope it improves your hand-eye coordination, your ability to see things as an artist and draw what you see. That's the whole purpose, so let's go give it a shot.